Well, how are we gonna know this worked? Come on, keep pulling! Oh my goodness, you're actually pulling something out of the woods! Whoa! Ah! 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 Is it moving? I, I don't know, I don't know. Hey yo, what's going on everyone? It's Papa Jake and welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys saw our last video, we had some crazy stuff happen. Some crazy stuff? Or are you sure you want to be out here right now? Uh, I, I actually do not, Phil. And in fact, you're the one that left me in a submarine inside a pool to sink while there was a bird monster. We came back for you. We were testing out a brand new submarine that we were going to use to head underwater to an underwater lab. We were able to figure out where this underwater lab is, but we needed a way to get to it. While doing this, a bird monster came out of nowhere and attacked us. Our submarine also completely failed. It did not withstand the water at all. Contrary to what Phil was thinking while he was above on the surface. Guys, check it out! It's working! <laughs> The submarine's rolling! But now we're back inside and we've got a ton of problems on the go. Not only is Logan still in FBI custody, but now we have a bird monster circling our house. I think it's time that we stop running from the bird monster, from the pond monster, from the FBI, from the Lake Corporation. We fight back and we get rid of the well, we'll start with the pond monster first. I don't you think You wanna start with the pond monster. That's a great idea. Jake. It's easier to start with the pond monster because the pond monster's in a pond. It's just right there. That bird monster's in the air, Phil. I don't know how we're gonna get in the air. Gentlemen, I'm gonna figure out a way that I believe we can get the pond monster out of this pond. It's going to require some science. It's going to require some thinking. While I do this, I need you to build me a state-of-the-art laboratory. All right, but this time, we are not having our spy base downstairs. We're building it upstairs, where I feel much safer. Well, as every squad member knows, to build an awesome box fort, you need duct tape, and we got that. And you also need cardboard. All right, Jakey, what are you thinking? So for this base, I want it to be both a spy base and a science laboratory. We need stuff for surveillance. We can surveil the pond, the sky, and of course, be able to make sure that nobody, including the pond monster, can get in because we all know what happened with our last base of security. How was I supposed to know that the pond monster sprays acid slime and can get through metal? I mean, we don't even know what this bird does. Does it just come down and eat you or does it have some sort of slime that it attacks you with and it freezes you? But that's why we're upstairs and our surveillance is now safe from the top floor of our house. We also need a good science lab because I'm going to be conducting a bunch of experiments, one of which is going to be how we're going to actually defeat this pond monster once and for all. But guys, get this base built. I'll be back. All right, Bigsy, looks like we got a box fort to build. Oh, yeah. Okay, I already know what you're thinking, Phil. Why are there two doors beside you? I thought you were building one spy base. Why have one spy base when you can have two? Behind the orange door will be our gear room, communication lab, where we use our walkie-talkies. I like to call this the safe zone. Nothing bad goes on in here. But if you come behind the silver door, where Papa Jake will probably be spending most of his time, this is going to be the science lab. This is where the crazy stuff happens. And this is where our surveillance window is. I think we're going to set up a telescope here so we can see directly into the pond at all times. And if anything goes wrong, we have communication right through the middle of the fort in this window. So we got a lot of more building left to do if we're gonna get rid of this pond monster once and for all. I've decided to go back out to where we last saw the bird monster. I've brought with me a field kit full of all my science gear. And I believe that if this is the same bird monster that attacked my hot air balloons, then there is a good chance it's leaving behind slime. Kind of like how the pond monster's green slime melts things. It seems like the flying monster slime, well, freezes things. My plan is if I can get enough of this stuff, I could possibly mass produce it and get enough that we could use it directly against the pond monster. First things first, we need our beta particle analyzer. This is gonna help us detect where the beta particles are and hopefully find some slime. Okay, looks like we already have a reading. Well, this was the first place that it did attack me, so I'm suspecting this is where we would find some slime. It absolutely destroyed the box for it. I don't know if you can see this, but the water is like also starting to turn like pondy. It's only been less than 24 hours. Oh wow, this thing is really going off. All right, there's the bottom of the submarine and okay, that might be the most amount of slime I've ever seen. Okay, yeah, the, the reader is literally going crazy. I have to turn this off. Guys, check that out. Just like the pond monster slime, this stuff is exactly where I thought it would be. So we're gonna need gloves. I'm gonna need a vial to extract it and put it in. I've also got this which we can put it in. This is an airtight, watertight, and radiation type box. So at least I'll have a way to safely transport it back to base. Gotta be very careful. If this activates, it could freeze this entire area. This is something kind of interesting. The slime itself somehow needs to be activated for it to use its properties. Same with the pond monster. I was able to figure that out with the acid sack that we were able to get from the pond monster. Although this I'm still gonna have to try and see how we can activate it. Especially if we're gonna want to use it against the pond monster. The mission is to use my science skills to 
collect this and somehow turn it into a mixture or concoction that we can use against the pond monster. Maybe we can freeze the pond. I was able to catch it on this and it's not reacting, which is a good sign. Now I can secure this inside the vial. Slime is secure inside the vial. Let's put it in our safe. Take some more video footage of it just so we have it and close this up. Now to put that back in here and let's go collect some of our water samples. This actually could be useful in trying to find an activating ingredient. It's not something we were able to talk about too much in the last video, but when I was inside the water, it was lucky that I was in a wetsuit because the actual temperature went straight down. And in fact, if you noticed in the last video when I was wearing my oxygen tank, I thought that somehow the flying monster had ripped it or somehow disabled it. But when we looked at it after the fact, that wasn't the case. It had been frozen over. So this was activated, which means there should be some activating ingredient inside this water. Looks like it's secure and inside here. Now just take everything we got back to the lab and start cooking up our own version of this freeze slime so we can use it against the pond monster. All right, and just like that, guys, let me introduce you to the new and improved spy base slash science lab. We are currently in the operation zone, and as I said earlier, just in here is our brand new science lab, fully equipped with everything Jake's gonna need. Speaking of Jake, though, he's been gone a while. We built this whole fort, I haven't even seen him. Yeah, Biggs! Come on in! Why did two doors? We decided to split up the base into two different places of operation. I need the science lab, like, now. I was able to get back down to the pool, and I'm pretty sure I have, in this case, whatever that flying monster is, slime. All right, perfect. Well, your room's over there, buddy. Go get started! All right, this looks pretty cool. And I even got a window. Guys, I'm gonna need a little bit of time here. I'm gonna try and analyze this so I can figure out a way that we can recreate it and make our own version of it. That way, we can freeze the pond. <laughs> What do you mean, freeze the pond? I'll explain after if this even works. Just uh, do whatever you guys do. Watch the pond for the pond monster. I don't really do that ever. Do, do you do that? No, I, I don't really watch the pond. I just hope uh, it doesn't come up here. Let's close the inspection hatch. If you guys have not already, smack that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, hit that bell button. Be sure to do that right now. You never want to miss one of these brand new videos, and we upload three times a week. You guys have been so helpful in helping us try and figure out this entire mystery. And for those of you asking, yes, finding Logan is still a priority, but as you can see, some other stuff's going on. <laughs> it actually works! I've harnessed the power of the blue slime. We can create enough of it now to hopefully freeze the entire pond. Oh, that's getting really cold. That is really, really cold. So does this mean we're finally gonna be able to get rid of the pond monster? I think it does, Phil. I think it does. With this new and improved lab that you guys whipped up, I was able to extract both components of the blue slime. The flying bird with its ability to freeze stuff, we've now figured out how to harness it. And with enough of it, we should be able to freeze the entire pond, turning that pond monster into a giant icicle, which you definitely do not want to suck on. Okay, I like it. I'll have to run a few more tests, and I'll also have to collect a bit more of the slime to get enough of it, but if everything goes as planned, I think we'll be ready to do this on a large scale and freeze the entire pond. Guys! Guys! Ugh. I was able to take the samples of the slime and distill it down to its molecular form. I took the beta particles and then expanded it, meaning I could make as much of it as I wanted to. And voila! Looks like a big Gatorade bottle. Uh, yeah, yes, it, it does look like a big Gatorade bottle, but you're missing the point, okay? This stuff is so potent that it will be able to freeze a large part of the pond. How cold are we talking here? Negative 200 degrees Celsius or negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit. This stuff is extremely cold. It explains why we were able to break that lock. Well, I guess we could see how it reacts with different materials, and then that'll allow us to know if we can actually even freeze the water around the pond monster, let alone the pond monster Whoa. itself. That looks really cold. Yep. <sighs> Forget, looks really cold. It's already starting to feel cold in here. Right? Isn't it insane? Okay, here, check it out. See this marshmallow? Super squishy, right? Whoa! Oh, what's happening to the marshmallow? Check it out. Now our little squishy marshmallow has turned into... Oh. A crispy marshmallow. Okay, that was pretty awesome. Uh, try the sponge! Try the sponge! Whoa! Okay. Now, squishy sponge? frozen to negative 200 degrees Celsius sponge. Check this out. Oh, dude, look! Oh, wow, that's cold. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Watch where you throw that thing! Oh, I just ripped it out! That is freezing cold! All right, this is all cool and all, Jake, but uh, can you freeze my Blue Jays bouncy ball? Probably. Oh, and check it out. If you add water, it creates like a smoke effect. That might be why it's so hard to see the bird, especially when it gets up high in the sky. Those clouds could be caused by the bird itself. If you don't believe me, look at this. Whoa! Yeah, the bird could create weather on demand. Uh, well, what about my bouncy ball? 
Oh, right, you're bouncing ball. I don't think it's gonna bounce anymore, Phil. A bouncing ball with no bounce. Can you use my basketball? I, uh, I mean, we really should probably be going to the pond, but sure. What, one more fun experiment because this stuff is kind of cool to play around with. Okay, uh, Pigs, I think it's crazy. Your pot more than the ball. Yeah. Pigs, you gave me a plastic pot. I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I thought it was glass. The plastic got work clearly. Uh, no. I think we just turned it into an extremely brittle. Hey, my ball! Look what you did to my pot! You broke it! Well, technically, you, you just hit it with a hammer. Alright, look, we've had enough fun and games. Now it's time to lure the pond monster out and freeze him. Yeah, you really haven't told us how we're doing that yet, Jake. I thought we'd just go on the bridge and yell mean names at him. So we are now outside at the pond where the pond monster is living. We bought a bunch of the bird monster liquid and we've set up a trap inside the water. We set up like a net system that normally you use to catch fish. But what we're gonna do is after we lure the pond monster and hopefully freeze him, we're gonna close the net and pull on this rope. That's gonna pull the net from inside the pond, scraping the bottom and collecting anything we freeze. Hopefully inside we'll have ourselves a pond monster. What are we gonna do with it after we catch it? We'll either put it in someone else's pond so it's their problem or we'll put it back in the ocean. Got our freeze set up and in place uh, that'll be our target Jake, there Jake, what Phil? Jake, I don't think we're gonna have to call the pond monster mean names what do you mean it's coming what oh no I hear it uh guys here hold the camera I need to get this ready Jake hurry it's getting close all right hold on hold on come on come on dump it over go Jake this better work it's because there's gonna be a pond monster ah! after A lot of freeze. Told you it made a lot. So how are we gonna know this worked? The whole pond under the bridge is frozen. This whole side's frozen, but the net is still in the water. So if we caught anything, now's the time we pull on the net. The one good thing though, the noises, they've stopped. The pond monster's not growling anymore. Oh we, we might have caught him. We might have done it, Jake! We might have done it! We did it! Oh, 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 oh. You think we actually caught it? Come on guys, pull! Ah, how heavy is it? Super heavy! Come on, keep pulling! Oh my goodness, you're, you're actually pulling something out of the woods! I don't know if it's a whole pond monster. Okay. Guys, come on! It might be a fish! Ho oh, oh. Whoa! What is it? That's not a pond monster! Oh man, it's probably a bass! Get the net off! Ah. Ah. Whoa. 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 That is a pond monster hand! Is it moving? I, I don't know, I don't know. We might have just taken the pond monster's hand off of his hand and now he's really mad. Although we didn't take it off of his hand because we took it off of his hand in the sense of the word, but we we, we took his hand. What are you talking about? We need to get that back to the lab. Okay, well if his hand is off, he must be frozen in the pond right now and he might defrost and then when he defrost, he's gonna be very mad because he doesn't have a hand. We gotta get back now. That's true, let's get this back. At least we can maybe observe it and uh, figure out how to stop him again. Uh, we might have just made things a lot worse. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here, grab that side. Okay, come on. In the lab, in the lab. Wait, wait, let me put you on the cardboard. Oh, oh boy. Dude, that's exactly like the hand we found in my room. Do you think he's missing both hands now? Is that the palm monster from earlier? Or maybe it's a different palm monster. We don't know how many there are. We need to extract this from the ice. It's okay. I'll do it. What? Ah! Ah! Why would you do that, Biggs? I don't know. I thought I was helping. We need to extract it delicately. This could have important information about the pond monster. Like, the age of the pond monster, or how it was created, or-, or How are you gonna find out the age of the pond monster from its hands? Science! Maybe, maybe he knows sign language. No, no, guys, it's, it's just science, but we need to extract it delicately, okay? It's in a frozen state. That bird monster slime is extremely potent. That's why it created such a massive ice cube. Nope, no. Not that. What are we gonna do? Drill into it? Not a bad idea. Safety goggles off. And you know I'm always wearing goggles. Whoa. Okay. Looks like you broke through. Some sort of hole. The skin's made of acid. That's why it's probably was broken around it. Yeah, that is definitely a pond monster hand in there. Use the axe and try to chip out the way at it. Okay. Whoa. Guys, check it out! Whoa! Oh boy. You don't think it could come back to life, do you? Uh, I wasn't thinking about that, no. Oh my goodness. I think it's free. Oh, Jake, 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 what are you doing? <gasps> whoa, 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 it's leaking acid. Uh, I might need gloves here, guys. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. 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 
Guys, uh, we really don't have time for fun and games right now. There's a pawn monster hand sitting on our table. Okay, well, we're definitely gonna need to put it in a safe place. And I don't know if this thing can come back to life. Maybe we put it back in the freezer? You mean where we keep our ice cream? Yeah, for now, Phil, I don't have any other ideas. I don't want this thing coming back to life. And it's smelling real bad. Hey, look, it's like I'm shaking, though. Hey, how are you? Oh, yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, hey, sorry about your arm. Guys? Oh no, what, is the palm monster coming for his hand? No, I think there was something else in the ice. 